This is the first time I've been asked to do a product review and I thought about it, kind of didn't want to, was suspicious of it. I looked around, some of my YouTube and friends did it for the same company and they seemed legit. I looked them up on Amazon and stuff. Gotta be careful out there. I did get one the other day that looked like a scam. I got rid of it. But uh, this company here seems to get decent reviews and stuff on Amazon if you want to check them out. It's uh, C-R-A-N-A-C-H. Cranach, I think. Multi-tool. They was wanting to give me some hats or tools. They gave me a choice. I said tools. But this particular one, i have never quite seen anything like it. I thought, I don't know. Let me take it out of the case for you. This thing is... Uh, says on the side, fishing, camping, hunting, hiking. Uh, right there's some kind of code if you can use that. Uh, the instructions, I'm not an instruction guy, my wife found this. It's got flat pliers, pipe pliers, wire cutter, nail claw, hammer, safety lock, handle, flathead screwdriver, nail file, fish scaler, Phillips screwdriver, bottle opener, straight knife and a serrated knife. Well, we're not going to check out every single one of those, but I'm not a fan of multi-tools. Uh, I've only ever had one good one and I broke it. <laughs> I'm pretty tough on stuff. Uh, pretty decent sheath. It feels like it's it'll hold up good enough. I, I like the snap. It's got a real good quality snap on it. But what surprised me about this thing Seems strange to me to have a hammer in one of these, but what surprised me about this thing is three quarters of a pound, it says. And it's, it's hefty. It's just small. And uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But there's a lock right here. You push that forward and that opens up the pliers. So, there's the lock locked on me and all I did was that right there. I don't know what I did there. We'll squeeze that. Mm. Right there. Uh, I'm trying to break them. <laughs> Usually twisting them will break them. Pinch through the wood there. I put some torque on that. And it still feels tight. It's not wiggling or anything. I don't know. Let's try out the, the saw. All right, let's find the saw here. I think that's the fish scaler and the flathead screwdriver. Let's see here. That's the bottle opener and the Phillips screwdriver. Ooh, there's the knife. Feels sharp. We're going to find out. Let's see here. There's the saw. There's the saw. Put these back. Ooh, and it locks. That's pretty good. It locks. I reckon you pull that down. It's not wiggling. That surprised me. Maybe just a hair. And it's got these, looks like stainless hex head screws in each side, so you could tighten it up if you want to, I reckon. Let's see how the saw does. I don't expect it's made to saw anything very big. We're going to find out here. Undone for the pliers there. I don't know if I pushed it or what. Well, we're gonna get a piece of this about the A long. We're gonna make something. I 
Now this here is dogwood and it's been laying out most of the summer. So it's pretty tough stuff. I'm surprised that knife's are doing it. Y'all know I carve a lot of things. I certainly wouldn't carve with something like this. That's not what it's meant for, but it's doing it. Dogwood's tough stuff you let it dry out. You've seen me make spoons out of it and everything else, but we're making something special. Because we want to really try this tool out. Alright. Huh. Okay. I'm going to twist it a little bit. It's not meant for twisting. Out there's pear wood. I'm surprised, but I didn't break the tip. Start a little bitty hole right there. Let me, let me cut this off. There's a nail file in here. Let's try that out. I use it. That nail file, you know, self-explanatory, is meant for your fingernails. But what we're going to do is chamfer the edge of this nail just a little bit. Kind of deters uh, splitting and mushrooming. They'll always mushroom, and good chance it'll split. But uh, you chamfer that edge, it gives you a little better chance. Now, let's pull back to safety there. It done all right. If you ain't got sandpaper or nothing, that that done all right. Let's try the hammer. See if we can't uh, zoom in there for you a little bit. Right back here, that hole we started is for this right here. Here we go. Tough stuff, boys. Usually, you hammer a dry nail into a green piece of wood. I've been sitting out for a while. She's in there. Come unlocked on me again, but that's all right. I locked her right back up. Let's try something else. There's a real nail. Obviously, that ain't meant for that. But the head of it looks all right. Didn't chip or anything. I don't even think it knocked the paint off of it yet. That's surprising. Focus camera. There you go. Huh. It's in there. Now, it says here that there's a nail puller. Obviously, it's not made for big nails. Let's put it to our test. I'll tell you right now, this would be all right to put in the glove box of your side by side or something. Beats having nothing, I can tell you that. But, uh, that's just too big of a nail for this little thing. Let's put some pressure on it. I guarantee you I'm working this harder than that was intended to be. <clears throat> you seem to bend it right there. Seems perfectly fine. Yeah. It's a bending it. Try some pliers here. Straighten her right back up with the pliers. Yeah. Wire cutters. 
aren't meant for nails. But it cut in there almost sixteenth of an inch into that nail. So they work pretty good. I uh I can figure it out. I'll put a link in the description below for this thing. And uh, I'm supposed to, but I ain't very computer smart, so we'll work at it. And uh, y'all wanted me to uh, hang on just a second. I did a short a while back of what you want me to do to this thing to test it out. We had several ideas. One of them was to drop it from the sky. Well, there's a piece of wood right here. And I just throwed it and hit that piece of wood. Some, some of the blades popped open. Close them up. I was not easy on that. Seems fine. It hit right there. And, uh, I don't see a mark none on it. And uh, some of y'all said shoot it. Well, that's probably not real fair, but it gave me an idea. All right, this is a Beeman R9 air rifle with an 11.42 grain pellet. Going about 800 feet a second. I'll show it to you in a minute. We're gonna try this. Gotta get a good rest here. Like a mist. I think you can see a couple little hits there. I was using the wrong crosshair to start with. I just noticed something, y'all. We even hit it right there. That's a piece of steel sticking out right there. So the hammer head pliers thing shouldn't even open up at this point. But they do. That's surprising. That's very, very surprising. You can see them hits on the hammerhead. That held up way better than I thought. Well, we ain't giving up yet. <laughs> Y'all stick with me and we're gonna come back to this thing just for some fun. I really didn't expect to recommend this, but if you like it, that little sucker's tough. That air rifle right there is no joke. That's a Beeman R9. You can look it up if you want to. It's got the best trigger in my cabinet, probably. It's got a Hawk scope on it, three to nine. I was using the wrong crosshair to start with, and then I figured it out. And then we started hitting it. I'm impressed, y'all. Y'all, I had to come back to this real quick. I thought I damaged this thing right here. I didn't. That's lead. <laughs> That's the gum pellet in there. It didn't bend that at all. 
You can see the head on the video. That's a little tiny dent right there. But it did not hurt them things one bit. <laughs> That's pretty daggum tough. We're going to give some shout outs and uh, y'all going to like this. But we are going to revisit this. I'll put the link in the description. Thanks for coming to Owls Outdoors. Always share your fire.